I'm Jen backstage here at Walt Disney Parks and Resorts Creative Costuming. Today we're going to be teaching you how to make a very cool Haunted Mansion Butler costume at home. Okay, Glenn, what are we going to do first? Well, Jen, it's pretty simple. you got to start with the tux, okay. right? Now, we bought this one, but you can ask around the family, see if somebody has one, mm -hmm. check your local thrift shop, or even try a tux rental place. A lot of times they sell off their worn stock at a fairly reasonable price, so we want our vest to be striped like the Haunted Mansion Butler. So what we did was we took a brown piece of paper, and it could be from a paper bag even, and we just cut it out to the shape of the vest. And you only have to do that once because the good news is you flip it right over and it's your other side. It makes your other pattern. We started with some striped fabric. Now we wanted purple and black stripe. That's really hard to find in the fabric stores. But a lot of times you can find a black and white stripe like this, especially in the quilting aisle. Okay. okay. So you take a permanent marker like this. I'm going to let you do this, Jen, all right? Okay, sure. Take your cap off and you're just going to color within the lines. You're going to toss it in the dryer and let it just run for a couple minutes just to heat set that color in there. So normally we stitch that onto the vest, but for those folks who don't stitch, there's an easier method. We're just gonna take fabric glue and pretend this is your fabric here and then glue it right down around. Okay, just the edges? Just around the edges, okay. yep. So we have our vest, now we're gonna distress a jacket. What is distressing? So distressing is where we age it a little bit. And we're gonna take one of our seams here in the shoulder and just kinda open it up. So you're gonna get under the seam and just pick up the first thread and pop it. And then after that, it's gonna open on its own, just pulling by your fingers. Not too far, just enough to put a little worm in. So we're going to use some textured yarn like this. So you take some fabric glue, like you can get in a craft store or a sewing center. Okay. And just a couple of little drops inside okay. the jacket. So how much of this do I put inside the jacket? I'd put a good inch inside because you want to have it, yeah. And then you can just press down with your finger for just a couple minutes. Okay. There we go. And that's going to bond our little worm in place. That is so cute. And then the next step is we're going to do some painting on this jacket. At home, you probably don't have an airbrush gun. So you can use just regular spray paint, but you want to do it outside in a well-ventilated area, and you want to be safe and wear a mask. Okay. So you don't inhale any fumes. Our tux came with a bow tie, mm -hmm. but our Haunted Mansion butlers have those long, skinny black ties. So we got this tie, and we painted it outside, but we wanted one final finishing touch. We used some faux suede and just cut out the shape of the bat. It doesn't ravel or tear at the end, so you don't have to worry about that. And we just pinched it together and took a little piece of our striped fabric that you created, Jen. Okay, okay, all right. Wrapped it right around and glued it all together and glued it to the tie. All right, let's get everything and see how it looks on Anthony. Great. Okay. Foolish Mortals, we give you Anthony, the Haunted Mansion Butler. I see you added some details at the very end. Yep, just a few finishing touches, some spider webs in his hair and shoulders, and a few spiders hot glued on. Very cute, very authentic for the Haunted Mansion. Keep watching the Disney Parks blog throughout the month of October for even more tips on how you can make the most of your Halloween from our Disney Parks experts.